Auntie Lemstars, how are you guys doing? I've missed you all. <laughs> yes, I know I saw you guys last week Saturday, but still, if you're new here and you're not part of the CLM Stars, join the CLM Stars by hitting the subscribe button down below. It's absolutely free and it helps the channel grow. In today's video, I'm going to teach you guys how to draft and cut a three-part corset from start to finish. This three-part corset is also going to have a bass waistline. So I'm going to show you guys how to draft and cut a three-part corset with a bass waistline. If you want to see how I do this, definitely keep on watching. Oh, hey, I didn't see you there. <laughs> So now you want to take your pattern paper and then you want to go ahead and draw your baseline at the top. I'm using a pencil because um, I want you guys, I don't want you guys to get confused. If I start off using a marker, there will be too many lines and it might get confusing. So from the baseline, go ahead and mark your boss points and your under boss and also mark your, um, your waistline. So in this case, I'm making the front piece the front piece to have a basque waistline so that's why i use 22 inches my boss point is 10 inches and 13 inches my boss point and under boss rather are 10 inches and 13 inches respectively that's what i marked and I, right now i'm just going to just label the lines bp means boss point ub means under boss i also extended the waistline as well and wl means waistline so i just labeled all the lines now I'm also going to go ahead and mark the armhole, which is 8 inches from the baseline. Or, you can call that the chest line rather, which is CL. And now I'm just going to go ahead and divide my shoulder measurement by, by 2. And I'm just going to go ahead and mark that on the baseline. From that point, I just drew a straight line to connect that shoulder line to the chest line. Now, dividing my bust circumference by 4, just marking that on the chest line. Then I'm going to go ahead and just measure that distance, which is 8 inches. I just divided that by 2, which gave me 4 inches. So I just marked that 4 inches point. And then I'm using my curve ruler to just connect that 4 inch mark to that my bust circumference that I had previously marked. I'm also going to go ahead and just mark a regular 3x3 three three neckline. We wouldn't be needing this neckline, but it's important that you mark it because it's going to help you to draft this particular pattern. So I just use my curve ruler to just connect those points. Now I'm going to go ahead and mark my nipple to nipple divided by 2 measurements. So my nipple to nipple measurement is 8 inches divided by 2 since my paper is folded. Now I'm just going to have to connect all those points together. All the way to the bust point and now from that bust point mark I'm just going down by one inch I'm marking that point now by the sides of the dart the two sides of the dart I'm taking half inch on both sides and I'm just going to go ahead and use my ruler to just connect that point at the dart leg all the way up to that point I marked under the bust point Now I'm going to, going to measure the distance from the neck to the shoulder and that's 4 inches. So half of that is 2 inches. So I'm just going to go ahead and just mark that 2 inches there. And then from that 1 inch mark under the bust, po under the bust point, I'm just using a straight line to connect that to that point I marked on the shoulder there. Now I went ahead to, to measure the distance between my bust and my under bust and I got 3 inches. Now I'm going to leave the zero mark of my tape still on that bust point and i'm just going to go ahead and just mark that three inches all the way around so just like you're forming a circle if you have a is it a protractor they call it no if you have a compass you can do this easily you just put the the tip of the compass right there at the center and then just draw a circle around making the radius of the compass three inches okay but since we don't have a compass i'm just going to go ahead and just place that point at the three inch mark and then mark a circle all the way around and now on both sides of my dart leg, of that top of my dart, I'm just going to go ahead and mark half inch on both sides. This is done. I'm doing this on the under bust, okay? And then from that point there, I'm just going to go ahead and draw a straight line to connect it to the bottom part of my dart. Now I'm going to use my curve ruler to just connect that point 
all the way to the one inch mark that is under the um, bust point. I did that for both sides. Now, on the side of that line that is towards the center front, I'm taking 0.75 inches. And then on the side that is towards the side front, I'm taking 1.25 inches. Now I'm going to go ahead and connect those two points to the bust point line. Now, what this would do is that it's going to prevent gaping. Once I'm done with that, I'm going to go ahead and use my curved ruler to just connect that bust point line to that one inch mark. Now, coming down from the chest line, I'm going down by half an inch and going inward from the edge there by half an inch as well. Connecting those two points with a straight line. Then I'm going to use my curved ruler and then connect that point there all the way upwards to, to that line at the top. And I'm also going to go ahead and use my curved ruler to also connect that same point all the way down to the underboss line. Now, measuring the distance from that, my bust circumference divided by 4 and the armhole line, I've got 1.5 inches. I'm just going to go ahead and divide that by 2 and then mark that point. From that point, I'm going to go downwards by half an inch. And now I'm just going to go ahead and just extend that line. And now I'm going to use my curved ruler again to connect that point all the way upwards to that line I created. And from that same point, I'm going to draw a curved line to meet the under bust line at that dart point. Now, since this is a three part corset, I'm going to go ahead and mark two inches at the edge, two and a half inches at the center of the cup on both sides, and then two inches at the other edge. Now, if you are making a two part corset, you don't have to do this point. You can just cut your cups like this and you have your two-part corset ready. I already have a two-part corset tutorial, but this is another method. Now go ahead and just connect those points with your curved ruler. Now dividing my bust circumference by four, I mark that on the chest line, measure that dart that I created at the top of the cup and I got two inches. I'm just going to go ahead and add that two inches and then another one and a half inches for my seam allowance. Now from the under bust, I'm just going to go ahead and mark my half length line, which is two and a half inches. Now, this is because the back of my corset is not going to have a bust waistline, so it needs to have a half length line. So that's what I'm marking now, and I labeled it HL, meaning half length. Now on that half length line, I'm just marking my round under bust measurements, marking that. I just measured that dart there, and I got... 1.25 inches. I'm just adding that to my sec my round on bust circumference and I'm also adding one and a half inches seam allowance I'm just going to go ahead and just connect those points together with my ruler But before I do that, I'm going to replicate that chest line down on that line where my cup actually starts Or that line where my my front piece actually starts and then from the point at the half length line I'm just going to go ahead and connect that to my waistline to create the basque waistline but then I decided I wanted it to be a bit straight from the under bust, so I just um, recreated that line. And then once I had that done, I'm just going to go ahead and just cut along those lines. Now I'm going to go ahead and label the side front S and the center front C. For the cups, I'm going to, going to label the cup CC, which stands for center cup, and SC, which stands for side cup. You can label this with anything. Just make sure that you understand what it is you're labeling because you need to know which cup is going to go where. Now go ahead and just cut your cups. Now, 
Now, once I'm done cutting my cups, I'm just going to take those two pieces for the top part of the cup and I'm going to use my cello tape now to just tape them together so they become one piece. Now once you've done that, you can actually use it as it is but I prefer to cut it out on a new piece of paper. So I'm just placing it on a fresh piece of paper and I'm just tracing out the outline. Once I'm done with that, I'm just going to go ahead and just cut it out. And I'm just going to go ahead and just label that as up. And this is what it looks like our three-part corset is drafted. For the back piece, I'm just going to take a fresh piece of pattern paper, place the side front and the center front pieces on top of it. And I'm going to go ahead and trace that half-length line. I also go ahead and just trace out the outline as well. And I'm just going to go ahead and make sure that the distance between the side front and the center front is that one inch, which is going to serve as the dart. Remember that from the nipple to nipple measurement, from the edge there, we got that nipple to nipple measurement, which is four inches, and then we had half inch on both sides. So just make sure that you have that same dart. Also trace out the baseline as well. I'm just going to go ahead and just trace all those lines. And once we're done with that, I'm just going to go ahead and just indicate that that allowance there is the zipper allowance. Now, I'm just going to go ahead and just extend that dart line. And then on both sides of the dart, I'm going to make sure that I have that half inch on both sides. I'm going to go ahead and just extend that all the way upwards. And now I'm going to go down by half an inch so that the back is not just straight like that. And I'm going to go ahead and extend that line. And now I'll just go ahead and cut out or cut along those lines. that's it guys in my next video i'm going to show you guys how to sew this completely okay so please subscribe if you haven't already and yeah thanks for watching guys bye